Hey there, Carly again. Braid and Kayla and I hope that you guys are finding success in getting your acres activated and enrolled into granular. We know that there are multiple ways that you can put the field boundaries into granular, whether it's through the John Deere Operations Center, BLM, or drawing the field boundaries in manually. But today, Braden is going to show you a quick and simple way to upload the field boundaries through a shapefile. Awesome. Thank you much, Carly. So we're going to move right into that, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is up in the top right-hand corner, there's going to be a place where you can see what your operation you're in. You want, first want to make sure that you are underneath the correct operation you're trying to enroll these fields in. So the next thing you're going to do to add fields via a shapefile is you're going to click on Add Field down here in the bottom left. When you click on that, you want to come to the top and click the up or upload field boundary. Carly noted the piece of drawing in um, land boundaries manually, and you use this tab here and this uh, these row of icons, and that's where you would do that. But uploading via shapefile, we're going to click on this or upload field boundaries on the top left here. When you get this screen, you're going to click on this big paper clip in the middle to select the zip drive file on your computer, and it's going to redirect you to your file explorer. So I'm going to use the shape file here today. And what, one thing I want you to check is to look under the type here. You're going to get a compressed zip file. And I want you to make sure that it's a compressed zip file because you need it to be in a zip folder to be able to be uploaded. If it is not in the compressed zip file, you will get a corrupt data um, error. So click on that file and then click open. So when you click open, you're going to get this. It says this zip is ready for upload. So down here in the bottom right, I want you to click on upload. And then it's going to load for a few seconds and then give you your results. So it's going to tell me my processing is complete. So then move down here to the bottom right and click on next map data. So when this screen comes up, it is asking you which of these represents your field name and which of these represents your farm name. This piece is very critical because it, it establishes how granular is going to name the field that when it pulls it into insights. So I'm going to go down here and go through, you know, arrow cattle. That's the grower name. Uh, farm name, East Farm. I don't want that. I want the field name on this left-hand side, which is G3. So I'm going to click on that one. Then I'm going to go over here and find the farm name, which is East Farm. And I'm going to check that one. And then I'm going to click Next, Review Fields in the bottom right. Now it's going to list all of my fields by farm name out and show me the acre size of them. So I'm going to scroll through here and check to make sure everything's right. And if one is wrong, you could um, edit the farm name on this tab here. But all of these are correct, so I'm going to make sure they're all checked. I'm going to click Save and Add Selected, and then it's going to give me a green check mark on the right-hand side for the submission status next to all of them. I'm going to click Finish and View Fields, and it's going to redirect me back to the home page, and it's going to show that all the fields are loaded here in the middle. And if you go back and click Cancel here, it's going to show me those fields have all been added in here on the left side of the menu. The other piece that Carly noted was the John Deere Ops Center. So if you go to the Data tab on the top, and then you click on John Deere Operations Center here in the bottom, it's going to ask you to log in, and that would be the way you get field boundaries to flow in from the John Deere Ops Center. With that, that is how you upload via a shapefile, and I will turn it to Kayla. Thanks for tuning in to our video, guys. The Granular team has been working extremely hard to make this process seamless and very efficient. It's getting simpler and simpler every time they make an update to the Granular platform. Um, so today, Braden showed you multiple ways that we can upload field boundaries and the shape file being one of the most fast and efficient ways to do so. And as always, if you guys need anything, myself, Carly, and Braden are always here to help. So please reach out if you have any questions at all. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.